Hi everybody, this is Richard Monson Hafel of Noble Beast, and this is a demonstration of the iPad uh, book app, Steampunk Homes um, Legacy of the Nautilus. I'm going to do this on a simulator on my s screen, uh, it just makes it easier to do a screen capture. Um, we are still in development, um, I'm very confident we're going to be done by the end of March. At the latest, uh, we have to go through a beta review phase, but I wanted to show you some of the features and everything that you can expect when the application is actually released. So you launch the application from an icon like you would any other application on iPad. And the first thing you see when it comes up is the uh, first page of the book. This is the first time you open it. You might as well get right to the reading. Um, the book supports page turning just like you would expect it to. There's lots of art in here. And you'll notice down here that there's a little cog that moves through the um, bar here showing you where you are at any point. Um, you can also take this little cog here and move it to a different part of the book uh, directly. And if you want to, you can create a bookmark uh, for that spot so that you can always come back and get right back to that same spot. So uh, just some basic features there that are um, you know, nice to have. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, every there's all these character portraits, and um, you know, each each character portrait uh, is is animated. So as you as you encounter the characters, you'll see them here. You can click on them, and you'll see a little bit of animation around his eyes right here. Um, Watson has a little bit more animation that was Holmes before. Uh, so these character portraits are nice. You can also access these at any time via the um, hyperlinks. So anytime you see a character's name, if you click on it, up will pop that character's portrait. And you get to, and, and it goes into an animation loop. So this is kind of nice in a, a longer book when you might be losing track of the characters. Um, we kind of do what we call progressive disclosure in here, where um, you... At, when you first encounter a character, if that character is not, uh, you know, hasn't actually come in a book but is mentioned, you'll get a silhouette of the character rather than the full portrait. So here's an example. Mycroft Holmes is being spoken about, but she hasn't been encountered yet, so you just get her silhouette. Um, at any time in the book, you can go and open up the gallery to see what characters you've encountered so far. Here's Mycroft. Here's... Um, uh, Watson and here's Sherlock Holmes. You can open those up and take a closer look at them. You can also look at um, mechanical drawings, which I'll be talking about in just a second. Uh, but basically, um, the mechanical drawings are of different devices that are used. Here's one of the Widowmaker, for instance. And each of the mechanical drawings are animated to show how the devices work. So if I was to touch the motorcycle, for example, it starts spinning. Now, we'll be including sound effects in here so you actually hear, hear the motorcycle running. Um, here's a Gatling gun coming out of the hood of the um, sidecar. And uh, last but not least is the uh, Gatling gun actually firing, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> we have other mechanicals. Here's Watson's arm. And here is the Nautilus submarine, and we're experimenting right now with using a, a yellow outline at least initially, to show people where the touch points are, as it's a little hard for people to figure out that they can interact with these without guidance. Um, so uh, that's the gallery, the thing. The other thing that we have in here is the sound, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, you can turn on the narrative. You can read it or you can listen to it. The narrative always picks up at the beginning of the reluctance into my appointed space and found that the compartment had shrunk considerably since my last ride in the sidecar. Holmes? What have you got in here? Of course, you can adjust the volume of the narrative. Another thing you can do is you can turn on uh, music, background music. All the music is by Abney Park. It's instrumental tracks of their stuff, and you can adjust the sound effects. So here it is with the background music and the narrative at the same time. The of the ministry when Mycroft Holmes had her office. Holmes parked the widow some several hundred yards away in a sheltered and well-policed lane. And I clambered out of my confines with unsteady legs and trembling hands, immeasurably grateful that we'd reached the end of the journey unharmed. 
Okay, uh, just a couple more features to show you. Um, we have full page illustrations on every chapter. So this, for instance, is a picture of uh, Watts and Holmes, Lestrade and Mycroft meeting in Mycroft's office. Um, we have some fixes to do here. I want to remove the menu system so you can't see it, but you can take a look at the picture and then just click and it turns a uh, page like any other uh, thing. The last thing I want to show you are um, interactive maps, which are really very cool. But um, let's see here. If I can find an example. Okay, so. Here's the word ministry right here, and this is where Mycroft works. They're going to go to the ministry, but if you forget where the ministry is, you can click this button, and it pops a vintage map of Victoria, London, with the ministry shown with a place marker. So there's the ministry right there, and you can uh, take this map and you can um, zoom out. It actually renders a, a lot slower on a simulator than it does. Um, on the iPad, so um, when you have it on the iPad, you'll see it render a lot faster. But um, let's zoom out from this map like that. You can get a little bit better view, and you can go over here and zoom down back in again and take a look at some, some more aspects of the map. Um, everything in the map is set up like that uh, just for fun. I'll show you another feature here, which is um, <clears throat> at any time you can click on this map button up here, and this this shows you where the characters, not only where the characters are, but where they've come from. So, for example, here the characters are at the uh, villa of one of the um, you know suspects or I'm sorry, one of the victims uh, here, but they came from all the way over here this is one waypoint in their trip I can click on the waypoint and up pops thing this is Allgate station where the murder or the body was actually found and so on so the interactive map like I said renders much more quickly uh, on the iPad is really a key uh, part of this whole thing well, I hope you've enjoyed the demo. We have uh, some more work to do, some bugs to iron out, some beta testing to do, and I'll be informing those people who are going to be on the beta testing list, um, you know, when we're ready for that. Uh, but, you know, look forward to seeing this, you know, by the end of March at the latest. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the show. Take care.